Okay, we're going to cook my super quick, super tasty beef casserole. So hopefully you've got your pan on the hob just starting to get nice and hot. And first off, we just need to add a knob of butter and a glug of oil. So just a little knob of butter. Like that. Into the pan. And about a tablespoon of oil. Give this a little swirl around. And then we're going to add in the veg, except the potatoes. So you've got your mushrooms, your onion, your carrots and your garlic. And we'll just give this a little stir, just to get it coated with the butter and the oil. And then we need to add a pinch of salt and pepper. Just give it all a stir and we can go and take the salt and pepper over to your beef and we're going to season that before adding that to the vegetables. Okay, so hopefully you've got your beef chopped up into nice big bite-sized chunks. So just a, a nice amount of salt and pepper on this, all over the beef. This is such a great one, such a good example of why casseroles don't need to be boring. Just because it's a casserole that your mum might have made. Beef cooked slowly, with stock, absolutely gorgeous. So you can take this back over to the hob and we're going to add it in with the vegetables. Just give everything a stir, just try and get some heat on the, on the beef. So all we're looking to do now is just get some colour on the beef so that it starts to get a little bit sealed. We're not going to completely seal the beef like we would have done beforehand in, with a hot pan. We don't need to do that with this. It's too easy for that. Okay, so just keep moving it around in the pan until you've got most of the beef with some, so it's changed so it's a little bit brown now. There we go. Hopefully yours is looking something like this. And next we just need to add in a dessert spoon of flour and then give it all a good stir. I'm going to stir this in and what this will do is this will just help thicken the stock so that at the end you've got almost like a gravy as opposed to just runny stock. And you can see instantly how the flour really absorbs any moisture in it and it will be going very dry. So as soon as it's all stirred in, we're going to add in the stock. There we go. And it's just enough stock to cover it. There we 
go and give it all a stir. There we go. Nice and easy. See, it doesn't get easier than that. And lastly, all you need to do is just drop in your potatoes. Just give them a stir in. And then just pop the lid on and then pop this in the oven for two hours. If you don't have one of these dishes that can go in the oven um, straight from the hob, just transfer it to an oven proof dish. If it doesn't have a lid, just cover it with foil and it'll be absolutely fine. So two hours and then when you come back just have your parsley chopped and it's as easy as that. And you wait till you see how it tastes. Okay, it's been two hours. I've just taken this out of the oven. Hopefully yours is looking something like mine. See, everything's mixed together. The beef will be so tender and falling apart. So all we need to do is serve up. I probably advise you just to leave yours for a few minutes, but I'm just going to show you what it should look like. So just using a ladle, Just trying to get a bit of everything. Okay, another potato, I think. And then just sprinkle it with some of the chopped parsley. There we go. That's it done and I hope you enjoy it.